Now let's introduce some basic body position and rate parameters. Start with U of T. This is the velocity of some point on the body of interest. We'll call it point O. On the body. Which is a reference point. This is often maybe the velocity of the center of mass. That's a linear velocity. To define rotation, we have omega of T. Which is the rotation rate. Or angular velocity vector for the body. So then if we had some point P elsewhere on the body, so here's our body, here's O, here's P, O has velocity U and some angular velocity omega. There's a radius vector RP which connects O and P. Then we could write that UP is U plus omega cross RP. And you've probably seen this before in your second year dynamics. Now, if we want to go beyond the body and think about how to relate this to what's going on in our Earth frame, then we can draw our body, O, P, and now here's our fixed Earth down here, which has some other origin which comes x e y e z e and you'll notice that z is often down in aerodynamics and that is a result of um, the right hand rule convention essentially for having the y axis point out along the right side of the wing or the right wing of an aircraft. So now I'm going to use another color to draw some vectors on here. So we have a vector RO from our fixed system reference point to the center of mass of our body, and then we again have our P up here. So RO of T is the position of the body reference point O at a given point in time, and to specify the orientation of the body, usually we use what are called Euler angles. Three angles, phi, theta, and psi. We try to sketch out what these represent. We start with some origin. Here's our original Earth x axis. Psi defines a rotation within the x e y e plane and gives us a new. axis, then the theta gives us a rotation up out of that plane, and that defines the x body axis, but then there can be a rotation about that axis, which is specified by phi. So the angles, again, correspond to, I'm going to write this out because this is very important. 
make sure that you've got this. So phi is the body roll angle. This is a rotation about the x body axis. Theta is the body elevation angle. This is the rotation out of the Earth XY plane. And psi is the body heading or yaw angle. And this is the rotation. about the Earth Z axis. So we're going to have some quantities that are specified in Earth axes, some that are specified in body axes, and we need to be able to convert between them. Typically, our position vector will be specified in Earth axes however the local position vector R like RP and body velocity And angular velocity make more sense when specified in body axes. So for example, we have the velocity as some function of r and t. To go back and forth, we need to use the transformation matrices that we developed earlier. So U E is T E B E B. Here the transformation matrix is formed as the product of three simple single axis rotations, one for each Euler angle. And as you may or may not have learned, in three dimensions, the sequence of angular rotations matters. So the Euler angle, angle standard sequence is negative phi, negative theta, negative psi. From that, we get that the transformation matrix from body to earth axes can be written like this as the product of the three rotations Note that these all have the same form there's just a variation of which axis is unaltered And just further multiply by the third matrix, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, cos, phi, sine, phi, minus sine, phi, cos phi. So next, in the final part of today's lecture, we'll take uh, an aside for a moment to see what this means and then put it all together.